Hello and welcome to Ignite Guitar Intermediate 201. This is week six. Let's get started. We're going to first um, go over our bar chords that we talked about in week five, um, starting with the E bar chord position. Remember we took that position and we moved it up, used it as a pattern that we can move down to different frets. Um, so we used that E position. We noted that it was an E position based on the sixth string root. We take the E position and make it an E minor and it's still the sixth string root. We can do an A position and we have a fifth string root as our as our root note and we have an A minor position we do a fifth string root as our uh, root note there too. So we just take that position and move it up. So what I want to do today is um, we're going to try to figure out what the chord families are. Um, so like we did one four five in the in the key of E, now we can do one four five with the bar chords. Um, so but first we're going to just play a few of these chords. I'm going to play the G chord, the E pattern, or the E position, uh, moving it up to the third fret. So we'll actually play in the fourth position for that um, G bar chord. And then we're going to play a C on the uh, A position. Remember, I'm, I, you can play it with the second, third, and fourth finger here, or you can play it with the third finger and bar the fourth, third, and second string, as well as the um, fifth string with the first finger. So um, we're going to play this. E bar chord uh, pattern, so now it's a G G chord because we're playing the third fret root on the sixth string. Then we're playing that A position on the uh, fifth string root. Um, it's now a C chord, and we'll move it up two more to get a D, and that's our one, four, and five in the key of G. And if we can test it, we can test to see if it's G C D G C D. Here's G. Open C D. And it sounds the same, so we can we've tested the chord to make sure it sounds the same, and now we can play that chord. So let's play that together, starting with the G on the sixth string root, the E position. Let's play that together. One, two, ready, play. We're just going to do down strums. Two, three, four. Second measure. Two, three, four. Two more times, and we'll switch to C, which is the A pattern position. Last time, two, ready, and switch. Third fret, A, A pattern, and C chord. Two, three, four. Last time, and moving up to D. Ready, and switch to D. Three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Last time, back to C. Ready, and switch. Second measure, two, three, four. Your fingers are probably hurting now. Three, four, last time, and we'll go to G, D, E pattern on the sixth string root. Three, four, second measure, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Last time, and we'll be done. Two, ready, and stop. Great, so that's uh, week five review of just the um, E and the A major position um, and we'll look at now um, doing bar chord families on uh, page 37. So we're going to move to page 37 and we're going to look at in the key of G our primary chords the 1, 4, and 5, the one, ma the major 1, the major 4, and the major 5 or G, C, and D can be played as bar chords and we've actually already played one of them as our warm-up. There are two common progressions to be familiar with. It's this G on the um, third fret with the E position, and it's the C that we played here. We've got it written as two, three, and four, so we can play them like this, C, and then up two frets to D. That's our one, four, five. Or we can play with our one, our major one chord on the fifth string root, so we have to find that G on the fifth string, and here's an A open, so remember our octave is on the twelfth fret, so that's an A, so we go, go back two half steps to a G and play that A position um, on the um, tenth fret. Then, we, then it can be claimed as a G major chord. So um, that means we have an octave actually um, from the sixth fret. Here's a G and here's a G. So we have an octave on those notes. Here's a G here and a G there. And it's seven frets up actually. So we go uh, sixth fret, up seven frets. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven frets up and you can find an octave. So you can do that on the sixth string 
or on the fifth string to the fourth string. So, oops. So there's the octave. So that's where we can kind of keep our place if we need to. So it's seven frets up and on the fifth string whenever you're on the sixth, um, sixth string root. So you can do the opposite way, obviously. On the um, fifth string root, it's back seven frets and to the sixth string. So, all right, so there's our G on the 10th fret. Now, um, then we're gonna play the uh, four chord, which is the C on the sixth string root, which is right here. Um, and we have E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C. So there's our C, so we do know it's correct. And then up two more frets to a D. So basically what we're doing is we're identifying the bar chords by the root note like we did last week. And you're only gonna use the sixth string major position and the fifth string major position um, like we did uh, before. And so I've at the very bottom of that page, page 37, I've showed you the root um, for each of these chords. But I didn't write out the full chord, I just showed you the root. So you'll know, here's the G for the sixth string position, here's the C, and here's the D. So we know, as long as we know where the root note is, we can add the position that connects um, with that fifth string root. So we know on the sixth string root when we're playing a major chord, it's an E position. We know on the fifth string root when we're playing a C, it's an A position. We know to the, when we're on the fifth string, on, on the fifth fret, on the fifth string, we play the D. So now if we're up here, we play the fifth string root is the one, and that's a G. And then here's the uh, fourth string root, I'm sorry, the sixth string root, which is the four chord, and then the five chord, which is the sixth string root also. So here's our one, our four, and our five, and then if we're on, this, on the sixth string one, it's one, four, five. So fifth string one is, remember, seven frets up. The octave is seven frets up from the sixth string root, so here's the, here's the one, four, five, and then if we're on the, on the octave, we just take, go to the octave, Right there, there's the G, and we take the one, four, five from those notes. So we can try that, we can just do the notes first. G, C, D, G, C, D, and then do the same thing. G, C, D, G, C, D. So now we'll add the chord to it. G, C, D, and then here's G, G, C, D. As you can hear, it's the same chords, we're just moving them into different positions. So that concept can be used for um, any key, You'll have two options to play that. You can play it um, with the low part, um, the lower part, or you can play it with the higher part. And it just depends on what key you're in. If you're going to be in the key of D, let's say, so we would find our D note, and here's the E. So we know our E octave is going to be up here. So we're going to actually go E, D sharp, D. So here's our sixth string root, and we have to go um, six. Uh, here's the one. Remember that pattern? We took the one, and the four is right below it, and then the five is up two frets. So here's D on the sixth string root. And here's the uh, four chord, which is going to be a G, right? So it's G and A. Now, if we're going to go um, to the fifth string root, we can go up seven frets. Remember to find the octave. Um, here's D. Uh, now we're on the fifth string. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that should be also a D. And it is. Here's D, seventh, seventh fret. So um, that's a little bit of a challenge because it's really high. So if we're playing a D right here, we can also find it if we go backwards. And if we go backwards, we actually go um, down to the fifth string and go back one, two, three, four, five. So there's a D. So here's a D here, and here's a D. So we can play that D, one, four, five, the one chord being on the sixth string, five chord being on the on the um, on the fifth string, and then five chord on the on the fifth string again. Then we, if we want to go play where we invert it, where we say, okay, the first chord is on the five, the fifth string. We play the D here. And we'll play the same pattern we did we did when it was the other way around, meaning like one four five. So we'll go one four five. And here's the octave from D, D is this one, one, four, five. So now we're doing the same thing, one, four, five, one, four, five, like that. Here's the D, D, 
Oops. D, G, A, G, G, A, G. So we have one, four, five, and then here's D. One, four, five, one, four, five, and one. So you get the basic idea with the bar chord families that you can use the one, four, five in two positions. As long as you start with the one chord, um, the four and the five will be pretty close to the, that with the root. So you actually have one on the sixth um, string. Your four is gonna be right below it on the, on the fifth string and then the five. And if you're on the um, fifth string one, it doesn't matter where it is. Here's, if this is the one, then this is gonna be the four and this is gonna be the five. So one, four, five, and then one, four, five. So it doesn't matter which chord you're on, just find the octave and you can um, work your way around and find the one, four, five, okay? So that's the concept for uh, bar chord families, knowing the root note. That'll help you identify um, where the bar chords are um, and how to find the one, four, five easily with the bar chords. Okay, so then we're gonna go to page 35, 38.